Welcome back, I'm Bobby Botts, a social media automation expert. Today we're going to be going over what is a VPS. Do I need one for my business? How do I set one up? Where do I find one? And we're going to be setting one up at the end of this video, so stay tuned, watch the whole video. We're going to be setting one up for both Mac users and I'll be going over how Windows users can set them up. Ready? Let's get started. Oh, and if you're new to this channel, this is Get Your Shit Seen, the channel where you help you, your brand, and your business stand out with creative marketing. That's social media automation, creative marketing tactics, all sorts of good stuff to help you get your content seen for free. So make sure to like and subscribe if you find this video useful. All right, I'm serious this time. Now let's get started. All right, so what is a VPS? A VPS, or Virtual Private Server, is essentially a computer that you rent out so you can run a program 24 hours a day. So somewhere in Russia, or you know, somewhere, somewhere in the world, there is a basement full of little Raspberry Pis, you know, little computers that run Windows 10, Windows 11, and people do things like this so you in America, or wherever you are in the world, can run programs 24 hours a day. You know, a lot of times we get programs that need to be ran 24 hours a day on our computer, but we can't do that because, you know, Wi-Fi connection, you know, connections get lost, our computer is shut down, so we need to use a virtual private server to run programs all days of the week, and that's where a virtual private server comes in handy. So a lot of people use it for that, and it's also really useful for if you are a Mac user. If you're a Mac user, you cannot use Windows-based software, so a virtual private server is a really good way to um, use Windows programs. So for example, I'm a Mac user, and a lot of programs I use are Windows-based, so my virtual private server is a Windows 10-based uh, private server, private server that runs all day, and now I can run both Mac uh, applications on my Mac, and then when I need to run Windows uh, programs, I'll use my virtual private server. So people use these for all kinds of things. Today I'm going to be talking about using a program or using a virtual server for a social media automation program, which is a program that needs to run 24 hours a day. But you don't need to be running a social media automation program to need a virtual private server. Like I said, if you just need to run Windows programs, it works. If you need to share desktops, it works great because anybody can log into uh, your virtual private server from anywhere. So where do you get one of these virtual private servers? Well, I get them from a place called Green Cloud VPS. That's a really reliable place because it gives me a specific VPS. So that's what we're going to be using for this tutorial. I'm also going to re recommend another couple of VPS places down below. Uh, they're all reliable places. But it's very simple to set up. And once you have this VPS set up, you're going to be able to run programs 24 hours a day. And you're going to be able to access them from any computer in the world. So I can access my VPS from this computer, my home computer, they all have access to login. So, you know, that's a couple of benefits. Ready? Let's get started. Questions or need assisting, you know, even if you want to do this together, you want to set this up together, uh, message me at BobbyBots. Follow me, message me at BobbyBots on my Instagram. I always answer my DMs. I'm genuinely here to help you. I want to see you guys get this done. I want to make it as easy as possible. I'm very accessible. Message me, we'll do it together and I'll help you. But you should be able to do it from these easy steps I'm going to give you. Okay, now let's go. All right, so this is gonna be a quick tutorial because like I said, this is easy to set up. So here we are in Green Cloud VPS. Now what we need is a Windows VPS. And so, now, like I said, there's different reasons you may need a virtual private server. And you can already see here, we have a couple options for what we might need. A high RAM VPS, uh, that's if you have a large team and you're running tons and tons of programs on there. Uh, what we want, if you're going to be running social media automation, uh, like a, a, a service like Jarvi, Follow Liker, uh, Mass Planner, you're going to be wanting the Mass Planner optimized VPS. What's that mean? It just has the optimal computing power to be running this program for. It's made for this. So you can see here we have the um, we have a couple options: Starter, Advanced, and Guru. So if you're going to be running a program like Jarvi. Um, or any sort of social media automation program or any sort of marketing tool program just think about how many accounts you're going to be have running at the same time so this one right here says suitable for 10 to 40 accounts that's what the most people are going to be using for and even if you do go higher than that it will work it'll work all the way to 100 you know 200 accounts uh, in my opinion I have tried it I have the advanced version because I use more accounts you know I have you know hundreds of Instagram accounts loaded up on mine so we're gonna go through and we're going to choose the starter. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna order now. And once you do order, 
you are going to get an email like this. Um, I'll show it up somewhere and it's going to give you your login information. And so here is what you're going to need if you are a Mac user. If you're a Mac user, you're going to need a third party app called Microsoft Remote Desktop. You can get this on the App Store. It's free and you're going to need this so you can log in. So you're going to need this app called Microsoft Remote Desktop. Um, if you are a Windows user, all you do is you go to your search engine and you type in virtual private server and it'll load up there or, or type, excuse me, you'll type in remote desktop on if you're a Windows user. You go type remote desktop and something will load up and it's going to be the same steps as what we're doing right here. Okay, so let me pull up my information. All right, so here we are in uh, Microsoft remote desktop and on my phone I, ha I have my VPS information. Okay. Also, shout out to my dad for this hat. Uh, give me a like if y'all are feeling the fisherman's hat. I think it's a new style. I'm going to bring it back. Okay, hold on. Here. Okay, so I have my email loaded up on my phone with all the VPS information. So all we do is we go to new, connection name. So that's whatever you want to name it. So let's say Bobby's. VPS, PC, PC name, so that is going to be the IP address they give you. So it'll be, um, let's see, six. So it'll be 10 strings of uh, letters. So mine is this. Okay, so don't touch anything else. Then username, it will give you a username, type that in. And then password is the long password that they give you. And so you can go in and change that. But to start, you're going to need that long password. Okay, and once you do that, all you do is you exit out. And now we're gonna click on it. Okay, now it's loading up and there you go and my programs are here loaded up and so now you have this virtual private server and how you use it is how you would use any computer so say you want to download a program all you do is you go to your email you go or you go to the Google Chrome search it up download the program just like you would and it'll stay right here so it's like having a second computer on your computer all right that's it that easy Oh, hair, on my, hair on my face. All right, we're back. So, all right, we're back. So it was that simple. So in this video, quick overview, we went over what is a virtual private server, which is essentially a computer you rent out in another country so you can run a program 24 hours a day. We went over a virtual private service, which is Green Cloud VPS, which is I use which is what I use and what I recommend. But I'm also gonna leave some alternatives below if you want some lower price points and just some different things to look at. And then really quickly, we installed it. Remember, if you're a Mac user, you need that third-party app, Microsoft Remote Desktop. If you are a Microsoft user, you just type in Remote Desktop on the search bar and type in the same information that we did. That's it, I hope this video was useful. Once again, if you found this video useful, like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Also, do not forget to follow me on Instagram, at BobbyBots, if you're having any problems setting up this VPS. I'm like a tech guy too, I'm like a tech guy, I'll help you out. Send me a DM, I'll help you through this. If you have any questions about growing your Instagram account or getting your shit seen, remember, I am BobbyBots, the social media automation expert. Until next time, guys. Oh, leave in the comments below, what's the next video you guys wanna see? Cause I got this question in my DMs and I made this video. So if you guys have any questions about what video you wanna see next, leave it in the DMs below. Below, I'm talking fast. Peace guys, see you next time. Just tell me to follow us on Instagram. All right. <laughs> All right, last thing we wanna let y'all know, we need you to follow us on Instagram at get your shit seen, at get your shit seen, cause you wanna get your shit seen and we wanna do that for you, so. See you soon. <laughs>
beans, beans, that's a check, talk it. Take all your pants, 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 bitch, ain't no time for talking. Why me do my dance, 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 pants in my pocket? Come and get your mans, 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 far up my rocket. Oh, beans, 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 that's a check, talk it. Take all your pants, 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 bitch.